What up, world? So I want to talk to y'all about 50 Cent new album right quick, Animal Ambition. I think there's a subtitle, The Untamed Desire to Win. Uh, man, this is 50 Cent's first album in five years. And oh, like once a year, he's had a false start trying to release Street King Immortal. And for whatever reason, man, d disagreements with Interscope. Uh, the single not having enough buzz, just not being ready to fucking drop it, man. He, he, it just hasn't came out, so I guess he pushed it back, and and this is what we got: Animal Ambition. Um, it's like eleven tracks long. No Lloyd Banks, no Tony Yayo features. Um, as far as features go, Yo Gotti is on here. Kid Kid, formerly of Young Money, now with G Unit. Is on like three songs. JD Kiss, Styles P are on separate tracks. Trey Songs is on a track. And um Prodigy from Mob Deep is on a track. Um I mean it's cool, like it's it's what you would expect from 50 Cent. Me personally, man, I've been I've been spoiled since since before I self-destruct came out. I've been spoiled with motherfuckers talking, rapping about their real life, rapping about how they feel, rapping about their real life situations, and 50 just doesn't do that. Like, the only thing 50 has ever rapped about is is uh, getting shot and, 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 selling, and selling coke and selling drugs. Um, so like I I wanted to hear about what Fifty Cent has been going through the past five years. Like I don't know if this is a fair comparison, but Jay Z man, Jay Z raps about what he's going through at the time, from selling drugs to being you know the the, you know, the most dominant in hip hop to being the best to to now the art talk, and you know what I'm saying. He he rapped about being the president of Def Jam. Now he's rapping about hanging out with rich people. And designers and, and artists and shit like that. So, I mean, 50, 50 could have rapped about hanging out with Floyd Mayweather, starting a headphone line, uh, the the disputes with Tony Ayo, Young Buck, and, and Lloyd Banks, and just shit like that. But, um, I mean, as, like, like Get Rich or Die Trying, hands down, fucking classic album. Um... The Massacre is, is a solid follow-up, not as good as Get Rich. People, for some reason, hate Curtis. I think Curtis is, is a good album. I think Before I Self-Destruct is a good album. But I guess because he went with more pop-heavy features, maybe. And the competition with, with Kanye in 07 is why... I don't know. I still don't know why people shit on Curtis. I mean, I think it's solid. Like, his last dominant single was I Got Money. Um... But like as far as this album goes, there's not there's not an in the club, there's not a candy shop, there's not an I get money. Um what was his single on Before I Self Destruct? That uh okay, alright. Even that wasn't no radio stopper. And there's not really there's good songs on here, but there's not really you know what I'm saying, anything that is gonna take over radio, take over one oh six and park get people requesting 50 cent again um i mean so like that's he talks about his money he talks about bitches he talks about um you know, getting shot he talks about the streets you know what i'm saying he talks about queens um kid kid he like i said he's on three tracks like one there, there's one track that he's on his first feature his his verse wasn't necessarily like a scene stealer or anything like that, but the rhyme scheme he used and the way that he delivered was dope. The other two the other two verses on are both on separate songs. Like I really I really wasn't feeling what he was talking about on those. JD Kids got the best verse on the whole album, like as if that wasn't predictable. And um the rest of the features are really forgettable. The uh, the Trey Songs track which I believe is on a Dr. Dre beat. You know, it's it's cool to, like as far as the club, as far as radio goes. Um, but I mean, like in closing, man, as a motherfucker who loves G Unit, I love. I you know what I'm saying like anything G Unit has dropped, I've listened to since Get Rich or Die Trying, man. Beg for mercy, 
Hunger for More, so Straight Out of Cashville, Thoughts of a Predicate Felon, a documentary, uh, Get Rich or Die Trying soundtrack, man, uh, Blood Money, Rotten Apple, the, la, 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 the list goes on. Like, I bumped that shit. It's not all classic material, but I still give it a shot. So, like, as a motherfucker who loves G-Unit, I can ride with this album. As as a critic who reviews all things hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, that I feel like buying, I'm not going to go out and buy an artist I don't like just to review some shit. So, um, if I have an interest in the material, I'm going to cop the shit. So, overall, as far as hip-hop goes, man, it's straight. Um, and, like, that's... I. I hate to say it, as a 50 Cent fan, I hate to say that Animal Ambition is straight. So, And um, as of Summer Jam, I feel like I, everybody knows now G-Unit is back together. They're dropping remixes of their own from other people's shit. They're, as far as I hear, they're prepping a G-Unit release, which I think to my understanding, is going to be 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, Tony Yayo, Young Buck, and Kid Kid. I would love to see Game on that motherfucker, but you know, Game and 50 ain't never going to bury that shit. Um, and then 50 has come out and said that Street King Immortal is coming out in September, and then the G-Unit album in November. So, um, post Get Rich or Die Trying, because if I ask what your favorite 50 Cent album is, I know everybody is going to say Get Rich or Die Trying. So, The Massacre... Curtis, Before I Self-Destruct, Animal Ambition, what is your favorite 50 Cent album? Um, man, of those, of the, yeah, like, of those, I would probably say The Massacre. I mean, they're all, they're all carbon copies of each other, basically, uh, that, that all, that get a little weaker as time goes on. Um, I mean, that's it for me, man. Like, I don't even know the hit, next hip-hop album I'm gonna buy. Probably Street King Immortal. Unless that, unless that Common comes out next month. Unless Common comes out with that Nobody Smiling. Um, that's it for me, man. Hit me up. Peace.